Hi, and welcome to the first video of the Intermediate R course. My name is Philip, I'm a content creator at DataCamp, and I will help you master a bunch of new concepts in the R programming language. Next stop on our trip through the wonderful world of R, relational operators. Relational operators, or comparators, are operators which help us see how one R object relates to another. For example, you can check whether two objects are equal. You can do this by using the double equal sign. We can, for example, see if the logical value true equals the logical value true. Let's try this out in a console. We type true equals equals true, and result of this query is a logical value, in this case true, because of course true equals true. On the contrary, true equals equals false will give us false. Makes sense, right? Apart from logical variables, we can also check the equality of other types. We can also compare strings and numbers. The opposite of the equality operator is the inequality operator, written as an exclamation mark followed by an equal sign. This sentence would read as hello is not equal to goodbye. Because this statement is correct, R will output true. Naturally, the inequality operator can also be used for numerics, logicals and of course other R objects as well. See how every timed result of the equality operator is opposite for the inequality operator. Of course, there are also cases where you need more than simply equality and inequality operators. What about checking if an R object is less than or greater than another R object? This will not come as a surprise. You can use the less than or greater than sign for this. In the case of numerical values, here's a straightforward example. 3 less than 5 will evaluate to true, while 3 greater than 5 will evaluate to false. For numerics, this makes sense. But how would this work for character strings and logical values? Is hello greater than goodbye? Let's find out. Apparently, hello greater than goodbye evaluates to true. But why so? It's because R uses the alphabet to sort character strings. Since H comes after G in the alphabet, hello is considered greater than goodbye. How about logical values? Is true less than false? The following query gives us the answer. It appears not. It evaluates to false. That's because under the hood, true corresponds to 1 and false corresponds to 0. And of course, 1 is not less than 0, hence the false result. You can also check to see if one R object is greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to, another R object. To do this, you can use the less than sign or the greater than sign together with the equal sign. So, 5 greater than or equal to 3, as well as 3 greater than or equal to 3, will evaluate to true. You already knew that R is pretty good with vectors. How about R's comparators? Can they also handle vectors? Suppose you have recorded the daily number of views your LinkedIn profile had the previous week and you start them in a vector, LinkedIn. If you want to find out on which days the number of views exceeded 10, we directly use the greater than sign. For the first, third, sixth and seventh elements in the vector, the number of views is greater than 10. So for these elements, the result will be true. You can also compare vectors to vectors. Suppose you also recorded the number of views your Facebook profile had the previous week and saved them in another vector, Facebook. When are the number of Facebook views less than or equal to the number of LinkedIn views? The following expression shows us how to calculate this. Does this make sense? In this case, the comparison is done for every element of the vector, one by one. For example, in the third day, the number of Facebook views is 5 and the number of LinkedIn views is 13. The comparison evaluates to true, as 5 is smaller than or equal to 13. Just as for vectors, R also knows how to compare other data structures, such as matrices and lists. Head over to the interactive exercises and add relational operators to your ever-growing R skill sets.